Ten years ago, the UDR was formed with many handicaps. No proper transport or equipment, the public phone system as sole means of communication and precious little confidence from the people of Ulster. Today it's trained, trusted and equipped as well as any other regiment. Indeed, with 7,500 personnel, the UDR is the largest regiment in the British Army. During what has become the longest period of active service endured by anyone since Waterloo, the UDR has earned nearly 200 awards for gallantry and meritorious service, it's arrested scores of terrorists and discovered 10,000 weapons along with a quarter of a million pounds of explosives. But the main regret the regiment has today is that only 2% of its men and women are Catholic. It was as high as 18% in the early days, but intimidation has forced most of the Catholics out and given the UDR's enemies an opportunity to claim that it's a sectarian force. But whatever happens to the regiment in the next 10 years, its main strength will remain with the 5,000 part-timers, civilians who have full-time jobs but still find time to put on uniform for many hours a week. Two-thirds of Ulster is already patrolled solely by the UDR, and the hope is that still more can be handed over to them, releasing other regiments for duties elsewhere. Jeremy Hands, ITN, in Northern Ireland.